What's up guys? This time I got some models from the latest Dark Elf range and I think we'll start unboxing with the, the big one of the Cauldron of Blood uh, which can also be assembled as a Blood Rack Shrine the Medusa. So I think this might be a really interesting model a lot of, lot of frames and a lot of options okay, we that <laughs> so, let's see how do you Okay, so the first impression. Well, I'm not gonna compare it to the last Cauldron of Blood. Let's just forget about that miniature forever. And if that's the frontline model right now of, of the Elf Witch, I'll say it's one, two, three, four, five. Five times tall than the frontline model or maybe more even uh, so forget about small cases for your miniatures Calvin is gonna take some space okay uh, all right first frame Very big one another one uh, much more interesting for now big base uh, additional bases for Medusa and the character options and instruction, no deco, no, no transfer sheets. Okay, so the instruction, let's go through it really quick. Okay, what kind of tools we can use? That's probably the uh, main skeleton of the of the cauldron. Okay, so that's the cage, right, for the column. Guys, if you were thinking of painting that uh, assembled, you can forget about it right now. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's going really to look nice. The stairs. I wonder how going to they look later on. Okay, and uh, that's that's a nice idea. You know that they they're making kind of a crown. You know, with the, all these spiky. Edges. Um, right, the avatar. <laughs> Not the avatar. The cane. The cane. I'm gonna compare it later on. Right. Uh, right the characters as well. And then Medusa. I'm really curious how that mode is going to look. Okay, there. The two options. No, oh, that just. Okay, that's just differs with the uh, the tail, right? So if it's if it's on a shrine, it's going down, and if you put it on a base, it's supposed to be upwards. Upwards the the happy Medusa. Ah, the mirror part, and now it all assembled. And yeah, that basically tells you know that the reason why this deal is really good. Uh, Whatever you're going to pick, some of the smallest, you have plenty of left over. Okay, so let's take a look at the frames. Uh, first thing I noticed is there, I think there is a new way of, uh, of pressuring up the plastic. Because uh, there are like four, uh, four bits here. Uh, they usually be, been two. Uh, so that's a that's obviously good because you know, the the quality will, will have to be must be better uh, so uh, yeah yeah uh, thumbs up for that um, okay I was gonna start with the two <laughs> uh, most interesting models here so probably the uh, <clears throat> the cane statue and and the Medusa so with the Medusas. Uh, I was wondering uh, at the beginning uh, what's, what's what's wrong with this with the snakes where they came from is that this this, this, this tail are spreading or something it just well it is you know they're going like really cha chaotic out of out of her no particular reason uh, well gladly they look really nice uh, <laughs> okay. Um, also with the head uh, pieces, uh, they're really going crazy, and that's 
that's how I imagine Medusa to uh, to be. Uh, see from the other side. Uh, yes. Uh, also, the uh, interesting thing is that there is some texture on this uh, snake tail, uh, so it's going to be easier to paint. <laughs> the only thing that really a bit worries me is the head, the head of Medusa over here. Hmm. I'm gonna say like that if you cannot paint good, just give it to someone who does otherwise. Hmm, there are going to be a few yaks and jokes about it. Uh, the mirror itself, <laughs> it's, it's really fantastic. Uh, love the texture, uh, how, how it works. I uh, also noticed there are like two ways of the, of the cauldron uh, to be filled. I think, I think the, the less textured one is uh, lit for, uh, for the Medusa and the boiling. Boiling bones are for the death hug. Okay, so the parts for her here as well. She actually looks better than the white dwarf. I think the head might be painted a bit, a bit better. It can be done. Can be done. Uh, right, the cane. Oh. The cane statue. Uh, for those who are wondering uh, if he's oh so big, he can be on my no, like an avatar in my other army. Well, I just happen to have an avatar, and have to think about it. He's quite similar. I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna compare all the three of them because uh, obviously the the Games Workshop one is definitely smaller. Uh, it's also dynamic, so I'm, I'm gonna put glue, put, put it, glue it together, you know, it's, it's no point of showing him right now. But uh, uh, I think and he can be easily easily modeled uh, for, for, a, for an avatar uh, as well. Uh, the most important is that the legs are dynamic, right? Uh, and the, the, the hands can be modeled, because <laughs> we don't want him to go in like... Uh, no scaring everyone. See, because he's, he's, you know, poses like a like, like a scarecrow or something with his hands. Well, that's the statue. That's the statue. Okay, then another frames. Uh, <laughs> I was talking earlier that I have some worries about the stairs, because I thought they were you know so small that they were you know as comfortable as the stairs on a submarine. Uh, but you know they, the scale is right. The scale is proper. You, the model can uh, actually walk <laughs> on the stairs, and they're not uh, like uh, or you know decorative uh, piece uh, for that. Uh, the rest of the parts are you know, classical. I would say no, mm, no extra attention here. Um, the chains are also very nice detailed. You know, uh, finally you can get this quality. Yeah, yeah probably that that might be the the effect of of this uh, double pressure uh, point because the uh, the quality of these chains is, is really amazing comparing to what we might seen in years before. Okay, so let's see the pictures. I think I'm gonna add some close up here as well. So the cane and the statue, kind of like an atlas. And the, the nice texture back, also the head, the mirror part, the funky snakes, at least they look good. And yeah, the body of the Medusa. Ah, oh, forgot that. Chicks the witch elves, they're really fantastic with crazy hair. <laughs> really deadly. Okay, so the next thing I'll be doing is to compare this assembled cane statue with that's a spine at his back, my god. Uh, also the reviews of all the good stuff behind me. So if you don't want to miss that, 
Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, take care.